today we are outside we're basically on a quest and I'm basically Dora the Explorer <laughs> Okay, seriously, though, I'm wearing a backpack, my hiking backpack. It's also green. We are going into the woods. Just like that movie. I'm pretty sure that's a movie. So right now, the time is 7.33 p.m. The sunset's supposed to come at 8.30 p.m. I was thinking that we could have a nice walk and enjoy the sunset together today. And after the sun sets, our quest will start. The quest is, the mission is, to spot a flying squirrel. Ever since <laughs> I saw this TikTok of a really cute albino flying squirrel that I think was somebody's pet, I really have wanted to see a flying squirrel because I've never seen one in my entire life. I've gone 24 years without seeing any flying squirrels in real life. And I Googled it and found that there are flying squirrels that live in Stanley Park at night, which is a park in Vancouver. And I live kind of close to Vancouver, so there must be flying squirrels where I live too, right? I mean, there's regular squirrels in the daytime, so there must be flying squirrels somewhere. Plus yesterday night, I went out on a walk with Tappy, my cat, and I saw a bat like swooping close by and Tappy was actually trying to kill it but anyway if I could see a bat which is really rare it's like rare for me to see a bat but it was dusk time so I guess that's why the bat was coming out to eat all the bugs and stuff so anyway if I can see a bat yesterday night then that means it's possible I could actually see a flying squirrel today that is the goal I'm optimistic I hope it will happen. I even brought my glasses and I've got my phone so we can use that as a flashlight after the sun goes down. Hopefully this all pans out. Wow, cool. There's blackberry bushes out here. I don't think I knew that before. I should pick some and take them home someday. Like I should bring a basket here and just pick blackberries. Wild blackberries. If I need to survive, if I somehow get stranded tonight, I know where to go to eat blackberries. Although I did bring also like some snacks, peanuts and raisins. Because you know, it's good whenever you go hiking. This is my hiking backpack. So it's good to bring water and snacks, you know, in case I somehow get lost or something, which I don't think I will, but yeah. There's the sun. Are you proud of me? I wore pants today because I don't want to get mosquito bites. I literally hate pants. I like shorts and skirts, but I wore pants because I'm scared of the mosquito bites. I've already had so many mosquito bites this summer. And I'm wearing no skin makeup and like no makeup on my eyes either. I'm trying to be more, I don't know what I'm doing. Just like show you my skin. Like, recently, I started evening primrose oil for my skin. I went off of my Diane 35, which was what was keeping my skin clear. So I'm just testing a natural supplement to see if it will help to clear my skin better. And, you know, my skin's not horrible right now. It's not terrible. It's not as good as it was when I was on Diane, but I'm gonna just keep, keep on going with the evening primrose oil until, like, if I really break out badly, then maybe. Oh, I think I just got bit by a mosquito. Damn, why does this happen? <sighs> I'm so sweaty already. Oh, a bird. I've already been one month on evening primrose oil and I'm gonna just keep pushing through to see if I get any better results, any smoother skin, because I don't want to be on birth control my whole life. Or at least I don't think I do. That's my mosquito bite. It's already bubbling up. Great. It's just like near my elbow. I'm actually not quite sure where to find a spot to watch the sunset. Like, do you have to get to somewhere that's like higher in elevation to be able to see the sky and the sunset? 
There's a dragonfly flying around here. I don't know if you can see that. It was kind of fast. But yeah, there it goes. Oh my gosh, look at this mountain view. I literally don't even know how to find the sunset, but this mountain view, it's pretty great. It's really nice. That's it. I found the greenhouse of my dreams, everyone. There's also a red house here, but only the green one matters. I've actually never walked in this neighborhood before. Those Asian little seat thingies. Haha, <laughs> so Chinese. I'm really tired, like I'm really out of shape just from walking. And it's also really, really hot right now, like so hot. Whew. But yeah, let's just chat since I can't seem to find where to view the sunset. The real reason I decided to just not wear too much makeup today is I'm just wearing my eyebrows basically, that's it. And like nose contour and like the red lipstick on my upper lip to cover my green mustache area. I don't know why my mustache area is so green. There must be something wrong with me or maybe my face is just really red. So it just makes that area seem really green. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the real reason is because I watch a lot of Emma Chamberlain videos and she's usually without any skin makeup. And yeah, she just seems real and genuine and I just wanna be like that too. And yeah, just some other vloggers that I've been watching recently, they just like vlog while they're in bed and everything, which I've never done. And I think it's cool. So. Wow, rich people. Look at that Mercedes. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, there's a lot of rich people in this area. If you're wondering why I'm suddenly in this area with a lot of houses, it's because I went out of the woody trail, the forested trail, and it just like led me to a neighborhood with houses. The color of this house is pretty nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a pale grayish green color. It's not really showing up as green on the camera, but kind of looks abandoned. Look at that basketball net. Me and my sister Joyce used to do this a lot. We would just meander, we would just wander and walk for like literally hours and eventually then just walk back to where we live. But yeah, now my sister is in another province. Joyce, if you're watching this, hi Joyce. Missing our four hour long walks right now. Cadillac. BMW. In that novel series I made called The Alphas, everybody was super rich. So I had a lot of fun, like, you know, choosing which cars each character owned. They all had luxury brand cars, like Range Rovers and Land Rovers and everything else. So that was something I enjoyed. And also, like, looking on Nordstrom and, like, picking what outfits they were wearing in each scene of the movie. Or not the movie, but the book. <laughs> Aw, there's some of these fish. I remember I made a very beautiful fish at um, my elementary school, Maywood Community School in Burnaby. I should go visit and see if I can find my fish. Well, actually, no, wait. No, I don't think I made one at Maywood. I made one at my middle school. Yeah, so I don't know where the sun is, but I guess this is as close to a sunset as I'm gonna get. There are two girls here taking pictures for Instagram. Yeah, there's actually a lot of people out and about today. Just waiting for the sun to set so I can find my flying squirrels. Or a flying squirrel at least. I don't know how people always have cute high ponytails. Mine always just flops backward. Maybe because I have too much hair? I don't know. Now I'm just inside this baseball cage net thing. Because there's a bench here. This way I can sit without you being in the grass solar. It is 8.24 p.m. So the sun is supposed to set at around 8.30. So soon, the flying squirrels should be coming out. Okay, so now it is 8.40 p.m. It's still kind of bright. 
um, but I think dusk is beginning to start. I took a bunch of pictures because I thought this net looked so good with the sunset behind it. So I took a bunch of, you know, artsy pictures. I used to take a lot of artsy pictures for Flickr, but I haven't really done that a lot lately, so I'm glad to have gotten this bit of inspiration to take some cool, like, sunset silhouette pictures. Then I ended up dropping my camera, and now it's got a tiny little scrape on it. Um, but Solar, you're okay, right? You work. You still work. Focus on me. You're fine, right? Yeah, it still looks pretty bright around here, but I promise it's actually kind of getting dark. It's just because on the auto setting on this camera, on the Canon G7X Mark III, it makes everything look awesome and bright, which is why I love it. Now I'm going to venture back into the forested area. Wish me luck. I hope I won't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. There's already been mosquitoes trying to get me already. Um, well, one of them's already gotten me, and then there's been others that I've seen flying towards me whilst I scream. Oh yeah, so time update. It is now 8.52 p.m. Flying squirrels, where are you? Where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. I haven't even seen one regular like daytime squirrel today, so I don't know. I know there are squirrels that live here though. Ooh, scary. Can you see how pixelated it is because it's so dark? <laughs> I need a water break. Um, I'm also gonna put on my glasses because it'll be hard, I think, for me to see squirrels. Because flying squirrels, they can jump from tree to tree. So they fly with their wings and stuff from tree to tree and I need to be able to see up and far away in the distance. <coughs> I'm really bad at drinking water. I swear I'm not sick. I'm just so bad at drinking water. I always choke. <coughs> I don't know. Never mastered the skill of drinking water. <laughs> It's like, I try to breathe while I'm drinking, but I breathe through my mouth, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Glasses are now on. Inspector Gadget. That's a thing, right? I don't know how exciting this all is. Titanic tip and daring dash adventure slash explorers. I'm on this hiking trail right now, but I'm kind of scared of being on a hiking trail, so I'm just gonna go back to somewhere I'm familiar with. <sighs> Yeah! Decisions made by Scaredy Cat Julie. Time update, 9.03 p.m. Past Meridian? Post Meridian? Okay, I don't- I forgot what p.m. stands for. <laughs> Look, I see stars! On a serious note, I would love to get really seriously into astronomy in my lifetime. Like, using a telescope getting to see and identify, knowing like what all the stars' names are. Just stargazing and having like a real telescope. That would be awesome. Do you hear the sirens? There's an emergency. I always usually pray when that happens, like when I hear the siren. I spotted a moth, which is not a flying squirrel. Okay, so there used to be an exit here, but they've blocked it off now, so I can't go through this way. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm basically at a park because regular squirrels, they thrive in like human places. Places where there's a lot of human droppings, like snack bags and like, you know, junk food laying around. So that's why I'm at a park because I don't know what flying squirrels eat, but if they're anything like the normal daytime squirrels maybe they would be you know at a park where there's more humans and i know that flying squirrels are nocturnal so it is now 9 21 p.m i have yet to see one i really want to see a flying squirrel i wanted to i wanted to see it like you know shoot across from one tree to another tree and be all cute because they have like enormous eyes kind of like owls 
I rarely, rarely ever go out at night, so this is very, very rare for me. Wow, they're doing a turf replacement here. There's a ton of teenagers here. So this is where teenagers go at night. <laughs> I was never really one of those. Cool, do you see that? There's a lot of people here playing ping pong. I think I'm going to have to admit my defeat. I'm tired, like it's, what time is it? Actually, it's 9.33. <laughs> I'm usually always home at this time and yeah this is just so foreign to me how these people are out here right now yeah so I'm gonna head back home I'm disappointed that I didn't see any wild flying squirrels I mean I knew that it was a slim chance I did see some wild teenagers but no wild flying squirrels I guess maybe they just haven't woken up from their burrows yet. They're doing a new roof here. So like, there's a lot of these equipment things here. I found a flying squirrel! Tappy, are you a flying squirrel? I always tease Tappy by calling her a rat because she's kind of like, you know, I don't know. She's like a, an enormous rodent, kind of, you know? Anyway, that was not so successful. I hope you still had a good walk with me. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you wanna. Yes, Tappy says yes. Tappy, I bet you would have loved. She would have probably found a flying squirrel before I could have seen one. She would have spotted one faster. All right, Tappy. Do I smell like, you know, sweaty mosquito bait? Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> oh yeah, hi again. We are this close to my face because I'm already wearing pajamas. I forgot to say that auditions are picking up for me again, so if I don't post once a week, that's probably why, because I'm busy with auditions. Yay for auditions starting again. Um, but I probably will still post once a week, so yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, bye.